let me quickly share with you in this video three ways you can find the next research topic without having to break a sweat now more often than not uh, when young researchers are asked to find a novel impactful and researchable topic it is often a very tedious task and that's because some of them don't know how to find a new topic or find an impactful one or find uh, a topic in the current state of knowledge so in this video i want to break that challenge i want to help you with um, navigating that challenge of finding a research topic so i will share with you three ways you can find a research topic fast now one is the use of chat gpt now when you are asked to find the topic more, most person tell you uh, go to review past research papers to find the research gap and uh, most persons tell you read so many papers so that you can find the current set of knowledge but what if um, all of those things can be combined and chat gpt can do it for you very fast yes chat gpt can help you find current impactful novel topic very very fast and so that's the first thing i want to show you today so you go to chat gpt and you want to describe a prompt now chat gpt works better if your prompt is very descriptive and so what should you type in there go ahead and say that i am a graduate of physics with um, bias or interest if you like interest in nanophotonics nanophotonics particularly are quantum dots quantum dots i am interested in how quantum dot geometry geometry modifies optical and um, optical and optoelectronic properties electronic properties properties of uh, well properties of quantum dots quantum dots suggests five refined topics in the current state of knowledge on this on this uh, in this area if you like in this area and this model can help you find that and you may want to click on the search button here so that it can assess information real time and you can enter this model would search the web look at the current set of knowledge look at some papers and list you some topics and tell you that um, the impact of core shell structures on photo luminescence efficiency quantum effect in um, death and strain induced bandwidth modulation in that is a very beautiful new topic role of surface ligands in modulating optical properties and all of that I can ask for that question and say, okay, I am particularly uh, interested in ellipsoidal uh, quantum dots. Ellipsoidal quantum dots refine the topic better around this. And this model will do that. It will help you refine the topic better to ellipsoidal quantum dots and it's going to give you an estropic quantum confinement and its impact on optical absorption and emission polarization dependent photoluminescence in uh, ellipsoidal quantum dot effect of ellipsoidal geometry on existing fine structure splitting strain engineering and these are very 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 beautiful topic and so if you're looking for a topic this is one way to find a research topic very fast just mention of uh, your field of learning your research interests your particular interests 
and chat gpt can help you suggest topics and these topics are not just suggested these topics it has to look it, it has to look at all of these all of these papers looked at their limitation look at um, now notice papers are very current look at the limitation in making these suggestions for you so these topics are well refined these topics are researchable these topics are in the current set of knowledge these topics are novel so let's go to the next how else can you find a research topic very fast how to find research topic very fast let's quickly go to another method you can use to find research um, topic the next way to find research topic is the use of google scholar now i prefer google scholar to almost any other research database that's because google scholar has a whole lot of papers that have been published here and so if you're looking to find several papers google scholar is your best belt so when you get to google scholar what do you want to do you want to put in your particular um, research interest or it's the item you're trying to research and you want to put them in parentheses this way you want to say ellipsoidal ellipsoidal confirm dot and entrance uh, centricity now note that these two are in parentheses that way now say um and centricity is um not what you are interested in you could change it to um say geometry you're interested in quantum dot and how geometry affects um quantum dot and you can put it that way and you want to be sure that this is very recent so you click on this to ensure that the papers you have here are within the last five years which presents a very good uh, current state of knowledge now if you have added size space which is something i recommend that you should add size space to your google scholar now this is not your usual google scholar if i take you to your usual google scholar that doesn't have the size space chrome extension you will not find this part just let me show you that um there is a google scholar and this is your normal google scholar if this is how it presents you don't have anything popping up here you don't have anything asking to chat with the paper this part of google scholar here i have not installed the size space chrome extension this is how your normal google scholar present but come back here see how this other one presents this has the size space chrome extension so what does it do for me once i uh, put in my search criteria it gives me a summary of all the papers showing up here there are about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten papers showing up on this tab this friend takes a quick summary a quick recap of all the papers here all the papers here and it allows me to ask questions on all these papers and so how do i find a research topic here this site space can be my friend so i just click on um, any of this paper that um, fits my interest or samples my interest properly or uh, speaks to what i am trying to look out for correctly so i'm uh, say i'm interested in this i just click on it and it would open up this way this is that paper and i would wait for it to just open 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 properly yes completely open now and by the side because of the number of um, chrome extensions i have some things are popping up on the side size space is up here arrow discovery is up here but let's go to um size space where size space allows me to talk with this paper to find the limitation of this paper which could be an avenue um for this paper i would say okay um what are the limitations in this work and it's going to look at the paper and mention some limitation because hey your next research topic is the limitation of a present paper yes the, your next research topic is the limitation of a present paper 
or the um, suggestion for further studies of a, of a present paper. So this study primarily focuses on prolate, which may limit the applicability of findings. Oh, yes. Ellipsoidal quantum dot of two geometry, the prolate and the oblate. And so if this study is only concerned with the prolate, it means that there is a gap in studying the oblate structure. Now, the parameters used for calculation such as effective mass, it's um, that of indium gallium arsenide. Uh, that is to say that it is specific to a material, meaning that there is a gap for other materials. Now, there's also an assumption. The assumption of the current time being less than existing lifetime may not hold true in experimental condition, potentially affecting the result. Wow, a new gap. Uh, the influence of fields on optical properties acknowledged but not extensively explored. Wow, these are gaps. I have just gotten four topics, if you like, four topics. One, my first topic I have gotten from here is that I should look at this same topic, quantum bit of exiting in the oblate. This has discussed prolate. A very quick topic for me. Um, the parameters used here is for indium gallium arsenide. I chose to use another um, particular material. I can also ask, um, pick up the same topic and uh, look at how external fields like a magnetic field or an electric field affect quantum bit of existence in ellipsoidal quantum dot. And so another way you can find a topic is to go to Google Scholar, turn on size space chrome extension, discuss with paper, find limitations, and suggest topics, uh, allow the model suggest topics for you, and you have an avalanche of new topics you can quickly dive in and begin to put out research work for the scientific community. There's another way still you can find research topics very fast. Let's explore the third way. So in the third way, I would copy the link address of um, some of the research papers I have searched. I'll just copy their link only. Okay, so I have um, so, uh, copied the link of five research papers and I have it there. I would say, um, assess the limitations, assess. Assess the limitations of these papers and uh, suggest five researchable, researchable topics that addresses these limitations. I'm sure you're on the search tab of uh, ChatGPT and hit on the search. This model will quickly explore these papers, look at their limitations, and from their limitations would we'll suggest for you uh, these papers. Now, these are the papers, these are the links of this, what is listed now from those papers. So we're gonna tell you um, from the first paper, um, this is developing comparison models that incorporate more complex interaction, investigating a broader range of materials and all of that. Um, these are topics from these, these are topics from there, and it would further ask for some very specific examples, and there you go, you would have new topics, you have new topics from the limitation of a present paper. Just copy the link, Put to chat GPT, put a prompt, and you have new research topics. Now, these are just three ways. There are more, but just go and try those three ways and begin to get new research topic for uh, topics for your research. Don't forget that in this channel, I share with you tips, tutorials on how you can get into the world of academic research very fast and how you can do it leveraging on the available AI models. Don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to turn on the bell so that next time I share something beautiful, you are about the first person to be alerted. Thank you for watching.